Here we can see a Windows Form application. And it's one we've seen before. And we should know if we press on one of these three buttons here, it'll turn this label to either red, green or blue. The question is, how do I actually model this using UML? and specifically collaboration diagrams. What do I represent this particular form with? Well, the answer is you represent it with the following. Here you can see I've got a rectangular box and in the middle it's got form one underlined and the colon. And we should know from the last video that this in fact is an unnamed instance of a class and it's an unnamed instance of form one. Now the code behind this button here is shown here and straight away we can see that there are three lines of code in here this line declares a variable called my object of type form one and my object now will be capable of pointing to an instance of form one and my object therefore we often call an object reference this line of code here is my object equals new form one and on this line an instance of form one is created in other words an object of form one is created so when this line of code executes how can I show that how can I model that in a UML collaboration diagram well the answer is as follows here you can see I've got my object created and it's a named object and we can see the name is my object which is the same name as this in the code and we can see it's an instance of form one which we can also see is in the code here and we can see the colon and the underline present so what I now have I have a model of the objects after the execution of this particular line of code here the next thing I want to do is to execute the following line where it says my object dot show now this is a messaging code and the way in which we represent that on the collaboration diagram is as follows we simply show the message going from the form going to the other object which is called my object and is an instance of form one so that now actually models this piece of code here of course when this message executes what we will get we will get another instance of the form which you'll remember from previous videos and I'm just simply showing that here